Hello everyone, Jesus Cretinas here. So how's the market? That's the most common questions everybody asking. So I'm gonna go over with this video and able to explain with some information. From Thanks for watching. Slow down the whole economy has been doing, but a recession doesn't mean a house crisis. So I wanted to just explain this to you that the last couple of changes from the last recession, so if you look at 1980 and see this right here, that uh, in 1980, we uh, had a recession. The appreciation of the homes has been going up. It went up to 6.1, 1981, 3.5. And we had another recession in 1991. It actually had a change of 1.9. And that had to be, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, with the credit unions. Here in 2001, with the bubble.com, 6.6 depreciation. And obviously, we knew that with the financial crisis, because anybody, you know, who was applying for a mortgage, uh, the bank was very loose ends on the mortgage. So obviously, it was a correction. But uh, the price five, three of them, has been a price um, appreciation on the market. So that's that's a good thing. Now, I wanted to also show you how. This is going to, this graph right here. So back in 2008, uh, 2006, I'm sorry, when we had the housing bubble, this is the mortgage credit availability index. So anybody who um, were able to get a mortgage was very easy. There was mortgages everywhere. Anybody who had a heartbeat were able to get a mortgage. And if you can see after the crash, everything has been pretty much flat. Now, anybody who's getting a mortgage, you know it is difficult to get a mortgage right now how it is. And even now with this uncertainty these times, what's going on with this, uh, you know, with the COVID, it's very challenging to get a, a mortgage. So in that, in that case, that's actually a good thing. Now, I want to show you another graph here that the equity of the homes uh, back uh, before the bubble, a lot of people refinance and they took out the equity and they bought houses, they bought boats, cars, you name it. Now, after we learned the mistake, you look at the past three years from 2017, 18, 19, the refinance cash uh, out has been a lot less than previous years of the recession 2008. So a lot of people are asking, well, this is gonna be another uh, C2 energy crash. I'll say, based on the information I'm getting, it looks like it's not gonna be any another 2008 or 2007 uh, realistic crash. Another thing that happened in 2007, the inventory of homes were uh, 8.2, meaning that it took eight months for all the supply to be done with. So it was a buyer's market back then. Now, it actually, we have problems with inventory. There is more buyers uh, with low interest rate and a less less homes out there. So I just wanted to share this with you. I mean, there's a much other graph that I'm getting this from different uh, locations. Uh, talk about a little bit about the unemployment. Deployment, uh, they're thinking that it's gonna probably gonna go up to, according to Goldman Sachs, are gonna go up to 15%, that's the projection. But eventually for 2021, 2022, uh, it's gonna come down to six and going down to five. And the reason they're saying that is because uh, here at the, uh, the employment report, most of them, you'll see that the 60% of the food and services are, you know, people who went to the bar, the waiters, the kitchen, all these people were actually, um, you know, the first ones to let go. But as soon as the uh, business opens up, you will see uh, most people will go back. And here's the breakdown for industry, as you can tell. So folks, uh, the reason I wanna just share this with you is just to give you an update. I'll try to give you an update every two weeks uh, what's going on in the market. I hope it was very uh, you know, helpful. Um, if you have any questions or anything related to real estate or anything not related to real estate that I can assist you, I'm here to uh, you know, help out. I hope you guys stay safe and Hope to guys see you soon. Take care.